diagnosed, first of all, at, uh, by my family doctor, because we had a long history. Uh, and uh, he knew my family history, the fact that my mother had um, uh, dementia. And it followed um, a year before I had said to him, we need to talk about my memory. We didn't. And then finally there were like, three significant events uh, in my life that uh, I documented for him and gave to him while we were talking. You know, we, I laughed with him about the mini mental test. I said, I know what city we're in. I know who the prime minister is. But then he just nonchalantly tore a piece of paper off a pad and said, just draw a clock. And I didn't do it, um, or I didn't do it accurately. And, um, and so that was the, the first um, diagnosis. And then that was followed uh, a, f a number of months later um, at the Alzheimer Clinic at UBC um, with the uh, formal diagnosis of Alzheimer's. I decided that I needed to address some aspects of, of dementia and one of them being the stereotype because I would say to someone in conversation whether it be on the bus or whatever that I had dementia and they would go through the stereotype of what that person would be to them and that stereotype was always the same an older per much older person and we wouldn't be able to communicate and so on and uh, I realized that my background in, in advocacy and communications could be married with, with my uh, diagnosis um, to, uh, to make a difference and, and uh, help educate people uh, by advocating. For me personally, the society has been um, especially helpful in, in um, uh, their support groups and I go to one it's a breakfast group, um, the second and fourth Fridays, and, and uh, um, the society has has um, uh, provided uh, brochures uh, on many different topics that that are educational and, and helpful in, in understanding some of the issues and, and driving comes to mind, or uh, uh, they also have have periodic workshops and so for me they have been um, uh, an education source um, but, as, uh, but knowing that uh, there is a society there who is also advocating on, uh, on my behalf.